doing a bit of work on the R8 today, um, addressing some of the issues, there's plenty of them. Um, first things first, aircon, doing both the aircon rads because they're ruined basically. Of that. And that isn't that wasn't even one that was leaking. The one that was leaking is this one. It's leaking sort of down here. So got the car basically no air con. Press the button, the light goes out. Scanned it with VAGCOM, came up with a pressure sensor issue, um, a voltage issue. So I replaced the pressure sensor, regassed the air con. Um, light came on or worked fine um, for about half an hour and then I could smell AC gas, got out of the car, turned it off and heard hissing coming from the driver's side front. So which was, yeah, let's say that radiator there. So thought whilst we're doing one, the bumper's off, might as well do the other one. Um, yeah, there's no point sort of doing one, leaving the other one. And also at the same time, replace the power steering um, radiator because that's seen better days as well. Um, yeah, and also the heaters, are they go to hot, but you wind them back to go to cold and they just stay warm. They don't even, they, they don't go cold, even ambient temperature outside cold. So um, basically, and you've taken off the cover. I'm trying to get, well, I'm gonna to have to take the prop shaft out to get up there to the, basically the valve that controls the hot and cold going to the front of the car, to the um, dash. Uh, also, this has gotta be sorted out because that is not a sump plug for an Audi R8. Yeah, it's even got a washer on it. And also you can see it's been leaking all over the sump. That's what they should look like. Spline with a washer on it. No washer on that one. Um, other issues, engine management issues. So we had um, two camshaft errors and possibly a variator error for the valve timing. Um, replaced both the exhaust sensors, which both the exhaust ones, I assume, they'd gone because um, it was just of heat. Um, it's got hot, even though they're covered with a heat shield, probably got hot and um, just died. But both of them are gone. Replaced both of them. The codes, cleared the codes. It's not had anything come back yet. So I'm hoping that the two cam sensor issues were causing the, the variable valve issue as well, because obviously with it just reading the timing and, and stuff like that, um yeah so that's about it for the moment so i'm just waiting on my rads to arrive fit them up change the heater control um yeah give it another drive and see what pops up probably something else one other thing i forgot to mention another fault well, it's not really a fault but another issue with the car not really an issue either got the car Parked it in the workshop over the weekend and um, came back Monday morning. Big puddle of water all over the floor. Um, obviously thought it was coolant. Um, got in the car, turned the key. The car's asking for washer fluid. So it turns out someone at some point has taken the bumper off of this car. And obviously the bumper's off now, but they didn't plug in the front washer jets. So as soon as you fill up the washers, it just pours out the front. So yeah, easy fix. All right, so it's about four days on um, since I, the, I took the bumper off um, to replace the condensers and the um, power steering cooler. I'm still waiting on the AC condensers. Uh, so what I've done is we just put the bumper back on for now, um, just so I can use the car. Um, we have actually got the new um, power steering um, cooler thing. What is it called? Radiator, I don't know, call it whatever. Um, 
oil cooler, basically the power steering oil cooler. Um, so today we're gonna, basically we're gonna get on with the removal of the prop shaft to basically get to the heater valve to deal with the heater valve problem where we've got, we can't turn it to cold. Uh, and also, again, while it's in the air, I'm gonna deal with the sump issue with the bung, obviously not being the correct bung there. Um, so I've got one of those from Audi to replace that. And while that's coming out, we might as well do the oil as well, even though it's only just had an oil change from Audi, but we're just gonna do that anyway, just so peace of mind. Um, right, time lapse. just draining the oil on the R8 and we figured out why that, um, it's got that weird looking sump bung in it because it's been helicoiled. So someone's obviously stripped the threads at some point and um, helicoiled it, which is fine, I guess, if it didn't leak, but it's leaking. So I'm probably gonna try and get a price on a sump and um, see what's what. If it's too expensive, obviously I'll just have to do it, do a better job of the bodge. But yeah. All right, just got off the phone to TPS. Um, basically to get a price for a sump. Uh, we will not be putting a sump on it. It's 480 pound plus of that. So hopefully, I think my, looks like the issue with this was that it had the wrong size washer in it. So I put, a proper size copper washer in it and um, done it up. So we'll basically, we'll just have to see what happens if it does leak. Might have to buy a sump, but um, yes, we'll just have to see what happens. Right, condensers are here now. Um, so we fitted fit the new AC condensers along with the see, new, it's not actually new, it's second hand but it was a lot better condition than the one that I had on, on it originally. So basically just sanded it down and resprayed it, made it look a bit nicer, so just so it doesn't look horrible against the new radiators, radiators, the condensers. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna fit the bumper back on now and gas it up, see if we've got some air con. Uh, so car's all back together now. No air con. <laughs> <laughs> We've got no air con, uh, so it's for pump, basically. Couldn't be that simple, could it? Um, yeah, thumbs down poop emoji. Um, <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna, rumor has it, I have heard that you can get the, um, you can get the pump out without removing the engine, um, just by removing the pipe that runs over the top of the block between the V underneath the intake manifold. Um, apparently someone says, or I've heard, I can, I'm going to try it first because I really don't want to take the engine out, but yeah, I'm not that bothered about aircon enough to take the engine out, but yeah. Uh, I just want to address something that I said at the start of the video about the aircon working. It didn't actually work, work. Basically what happened was the, I gassed the aircon up, uh, and the light stayed on indicating that the system pressure was fine and um, as far as the car is concerned, the AC was working, but obviously the pump, the mechanical side of it, the pump wasn't actually pumping. 
Um, so, yeah. Right. I guess we'll leave it there then. If you've made it to the end of the video, congratulations and um, thanks for watching. You'll probably gather that I'm not a professional videographer <laughs> with the video. <laughs> it's a bit all over the place. The editing's a bit, but um, yeah, I've done my best. I'm just a car enthusiast with an iPhone. Um, maybe the videos might get better as we progress. Who knows? Um, just a quick recap for we end the video um we've got the heater controls now work um go hot and cold fine um the engine management issue seems to be sorted by replacing those two bad sensors the exhaust sensors um yeah but obviously no air con um there's plenty more we've got plenty more stuff to do on the car uh, i've got loads of plans for it so there'll be plenty more videos um, mods and um, carbon clean stuff like that the carbon clean will probably tie in with the AC compressor replacement um, as the intake manifold's got to come off anyway I, thought I might as well just do the carbon clean at the same time but yeah thanks for watching and it wouldn't be a YouTube video unless I ended it with don't forget to like and subscribe thanks